Hey everyone, welcome back to Civil Engineers Club. The Municipal Service Commission West Bengal has already declared the date of written examination for the post of Sub Assistant Engineer Civil in Kolkata Municipal Corporation. And today this video is going to be very interesting because today I will discuss about the most important MCQ which has a 90% probability to come in your exam paper. So let's start the video. Question number one. The standard EDA solution is used to determine the option A hardness in water, option B turbidity in water, option C dissolved oxygen in water, option D residual chlorine in water. So the correct answer is hardness in water. Always remember EDA solution is used to determine the hardness in water. Next question. Question number two. Turbidity is measured on option A standard silica scale, option B standard cobalt scale, option C standard platinum scale, option D platinum cobalt scale. Do you have any idea what is the correct answer? Well the correct answer is standard silica scale. Standard silica scale is the correct answer. Always remember turbidity is measured in standard silica scale. Next question number three. Orthotoluene test is used for determination of Option A, dissolved oxygen. Option B, residual chlorine. Option C, BOD or biochemical oxygen demand. Option D, dose of coagulant. So we have the correct answer is option B, residual chlorine. Residual chlorine is determined by orthotoluene test. Next question number four. Which of the following chemical compound can be used for dechlorination of water? Option A, Carbon dioxide, option B, bleaching powder, option C, sulfur dioxide, and option D, chloramine. Here the correct answer is sulfur dioxide. Correct answer is sulfur dioxide, option C, sulfur dioxide. Remember, apart from sulfur dioxide, activated carbon and sodium thiosulfate is also used to dechlorination of water. Next question number 5. Which of the following compound widely used for algae control? Option A. Sodium sulphate. Option B. Copper sulphate. Option C. Sodium chloride. Option D. Calcium chloride. This time the correct answer is copper sulphate. Copper sulphate is the correct answer. Option B. Copper sulphate is the correct answer. This copper sulphate is used to control algae. Our next question. Question number 6. From the surface of reservoir, the evaporation may be minimized by sprinkling option A spirit, option B hydrochloric acid, option C acetyl alcohol, option D methane. So what is the correct answer? Is spirit correct answer? No. Hydrochloric acid, option B, this is also wrong answer. So the correct answer is acetyl alcohol, acetyl al alcohol. This is also known as hexadecanol. This is also known as hexadecanol. So hexadecanol or acetyl alcohol is the correct answer. If we sprinkle some acetyl or hexadecanol on the reservoir, then the uh, evaporation can be minimized. Question number 7. BOD of treated water should be option A, 10 ppm, option B, 25 ppm, option C, 20 ppm, and option D, nil or zero. So what is the correct answer? Any idea? Always remember the BOD of treated water should be nil or zero. So the correct answer is option D, nil. Next question number eight. For evaporation and measurement of settleable solids, the apparatus used is option A, a jar, option B, a beaker, option C, a test tube, and option D, an imhop cone. What is the correct answer? Do you know? So correct answer is an imhop cone. Generally, an imhop cone is used to determine the evaporation and measurement of settleable solid. Next question number 9. Air binding phenomena in rapids and filter is due to option A, excessive negative heat, option B, mud wall formation, option C, higher turbidity in the effluent option D, low temperature. This question is very important and it is very often asked in many competitive examinations. So this is very important. Here the correct answer. Do you have any guess? 
the correct answer is excessive negative heat whenever there is excessive negative heat in the rapid sand filter the air venting phenomena happen question number 10 double chlorination is used option a to increase the filtration capacity of slow sand filter option b to increase the filtration capacity of rapid sand filter option c for isolated building like swimming pool hotel etc and last option d all of this this question is very interesting and very very important because uh, this is also the important question which is uh, almost asked in every uh, government examination so where the answer is to increase the filtration capacity of slow sand filter to filter uh, to increase the capacity of slow sand filter because in slow sand filter the filtration rate is very low and if we wish to increase the filtration capacity to some extent then we can add some preliminary filter which is also known as roughening filter that's all for today uh, students uh, who are yet to subscribe this channel please go and subscribe it very fast and don't forget to share it with your friends and uh, and I will get back uh, very soon with a new video. Uh, till, till then, be connected with me. Thank you.